Alright, ladies and gentlemen, Baron here, and I'm flying the Tupolev TB3, one of the more distinct and unique planes in War Thunder. Notably because of these two gunners that stick out from under the wings and the nose gunner, and that the pilots are kind of exposed right here. What the heck was that? We're under attack. Let's see if we survive. Mr. Buffalo with his 50 cals of freedom. Alright, we're chewing him up. We should be able to bring him down, honestly. We're firing 7.62, so it's not the most powerful. Alright, we critted something now. We gotta turn our rudder so we're, this guy's not in our dead zone. Look at all those flashes, though. We have armor piercing incendiaries. It looks like his engine died out. Oh, yeah. Look at that, caught him on fire. See, those are the gunners under the wings right now. Now we gotta right the ship so we can kinda get a view. <laughs> but that was pretty cool, we actually got ourselves a kill. Now it's kinda cool, this plane was actually available for War Thunder's second birthday. Which, look at this guy, he's still on fire. Still trying to fight us off. Boom! And there you go. That, ladies and gentlemen, is what it looks like when a TB3 gets an aerial kill. Now, what's really cool about the TB3s is if you ever just read up on their history, this was a plane that was developed in the 1930s, found obsolete by 1939. And if you think about it, World War II started for the Russians in 1941, if you don't really consider their whole engagements with Finland, um, the Winter War. Now, why can't... If that cruiser's chilling there, I'm going to bomb it. Because I'm armed with 12 250-kilo bombs. Now, we are getting flacked at, so that could be dangerous. And it's going to take a long time to turn around. Yeah, that's a destroyer, two uh, LSTs, and a light cruiser. Is what it looks like. So we are smoking out of one of our engines... Now, it's tough to tell, like, you know, what's causing that. But this plane, if you look at it, my my speed <laughs> is generally less than 160 kilometers per hour in most cases. Um, oh, my gosh, and our team is just absolutely working the enemy. So I am going to have to turn around before this war is over. i gotta, I got to do some work, but the operational history of the TB3 is is pretty awesome. Um, they were used in night bombing missions rather well actually. They had a pretty decent successful, you know, record of success. They were also used to transport tanks. And here, let's hit the elevator down. Yeah, see how difficult this this thing is to turn cuz it's so slow. They were used to transport light tanks and infantry, you know, across like think how big Russia is. And when the Germans attacked, <clears throat> now we're not really ideally suited to bomb this destroyer. Looks like we may have ourselves an escort, and we're kind of headed down. So we'll go ahead and level ourselves using the old gunner trick. I don't know if this is going to work. We're very high. This thing's so awkward, It's it's a despite it, how slow it is, it's still kind of difficult to get something like a ship on target. So what we're going to do here is try to drop at least two. We just got to make sure we hit it with at least two of these bombs. So we drop six out of our 12, 250 kilos. But this thing was used in the early engagements with Japan in like the Battle of Kaklan Gol and the Winter War with Finland. Oh my gosh, please hit this cruiser. Oh, that one looks like it's dead on target. So all we need is one more. What? 250 kilos of doom. Light cruiser. You only need... I thought it was 1,000 pounds. Maybe it's 1,000 kilos. Hmm. This changes everything. There are those LSTs that would just take one. So we could drop throttle and kind of start gliding down. Not that we really need to drop throttle, in fact. We probably need to keep some throttle up. It's just what I'm used to doing. 
So what is this? Oh, I could have bombed that, couldn't I? Yeah, that could have worked. There are two planes still left alive. But the TB3 is just... You know, of the five planes that were given away on War Thunder's second birthday, along with... Let's see, it was the XF5F. There was the DB7. There was the Lag 323. Um, I believe it was the 323. And then the HE51 Hydro. I know that I think... I think the TB3 had the smallest percentage chance of getting chosen. Now, is our engine still going? Looks like it. We're still we're still in this fight. Now, we're circling around, and we might be able to drop on both these LSTs. But I just love this plane because of how unique it is. I'm a fan of, like, kind of the more unique planes. Now, we're actually about to lose an engine. So, that is not good, to say the least. All right, so what would we do in this situation? I'd actually probably try to hit this cruiser again. I would say that's more of a, a larger threat than LSTs. I'm, I'm really, it's strange that I can't identify the cruiser. It's not popping up. It is firing at me, that is for sure. So we know he's live and we're gonna take him out. Now I'm gonna drop two bombs this time. Oh my gosh, the flak is real. There's flak defending the port, there's the LSTs, and there's the cruiser itself. Look at that cool little structure. Your flying speed is too low? Don't tell me how to live my life. Now, our bombing reticle isn't, you know, the most accurate right now, and we're not going down the line of the ship perfectly. There's two bombs away. So let's see how we did. Oh my gosh, please. Oh, that first one looks like it's not going to hit. Actually, it, it will hit. They'll both hit. Awesome. Took ourselves out of cruiser. So add a cruiser and an enemy fighter to the list. We are all kinds of smoking. This flak is ripping us up. We have four bombs left. So we got to get out of here. Those landing crafts, those LSTs down there are, are nice, juicy targets. Um... They're within two kilometers behind me. I feel like our wing's gonna get shot off relatively soon. <laughs> what? What the hell? All right, everyone abandon ship. Look at this, actually. Look at this thing just falling. Look how long it takes. We'll drop our bombs. This thing, like the surface area of these wings, that was just, that was just scary how accurate we were. But you know what, we did our duty for the Soviet Union against the invading Germans. Oh my gosh. So, we did pretty good though, I'd have to say, in our TB3. Now there was there was actually a couple different variants of the TB3, um, including a modernized one that was, dare I say it, just a little bit faster and a little bit better. It increased it by like what? four percent between four and five percent um top speed <laughs> in distance you could go so let's go back and take a look at the tb3 but it's actually one of my favorite planes in the game i'd have to say that and the po2 are definitely two of my favorite bombers and but i don't pick favorites on performance i pick favorites on <laughs> how derpy and unique they are. A little combination of both. If it's very, it's a very derpy, derpy plane, I would like to return to the hangar. Thank you, please. So that crew went down, all hands on deck, but we killed ourselves a buffalo and a cruiser. I'd say that was pretty successful. What's interesting about this plane is it actually has a battle rating of 2.0. And when you compare that to some of the other planes, you know, like the I-15s, they have 1.0. I think it's because it's relatively durable against light machine guns. Um, but not very durable, obviously, against heavy machine guns and cannons. So I guess if you were going to send masses of light biplanes against it, it would fare pretty well. So maybe the 2.0 battle rating isn't too bad. But yeah, I just love this plane. Like, look at these gunner spots. Can you imagine joining the Soviet Air Force and you're like hmm I wonder what am I what am I gonna do am I gonna be a pilot 
Am I going to be a crew member? Am I going to be a gunner? If I'm going to be gunner, what bomber am I going to be on? Or what plane am I going to be on? Am I going to be on a Sturmovik in the rear there? Or am I going to be in the wing of a TB3? You probably got the worst job. <laughs> like, think about that. It's kind of cool because they have these little windows up here, so at least they wouldn't be completely bored. And if there wasn't any action going on, you got a really good view. I'd probably be a little chilly though, but I imagine they can climb through the wings into this area, so that's probably how they got there. And I just love this plane. Um, so yeah, I put up the video on the second birthday of War Thunder, and I got so much feedback as to what planes you got. And what I want to know is how many of you really wanted to get the TB3, <clears throat> and how many of you were actually successful. Because I feel like the TB3 was actually the most rare of them all. Fortunately, the PO2 was also able to be gotten from the Halloween special, from attending, um, from being involved in some of the races, which is really cool. And that's another plane that I'll probably showcase next. Um, if you'd like to see my first PO2 video ever, ever, check the video description below. I found this plane, and I was just. I took it out in realistic battles and some hilarious stuff happened, so check that out. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, make sure to leave this video some love. I thank you all for watching, and I'll catch you all soon.